Hello, Aquarius. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. I have shuffled and laid out the cards um, and I work with the 12 houses of the zodiac. So as the cards are coming out in each house, then that is the influence that's applying at this time. So um, with the uh, first house, we have a water element, which is sensing. The first house is everything to do with the um, body. So this is yourself, your appearance um, to others. Uh, what you're projecting outwards to others. Uh, it's also your physical body, your vitality, your self-oriented interests, and um, your your personality and your uh, characteristics, which are others are seeing uh, in you. So it's as so you know. If you want to look at it this way, that would be your ascendant uh, up until a certain point in life, and then your sun sign takes over. In any case, so um, if you want to investigate that, you can. Um, but with this influence coming into your uh, first house, what it's indicating is um, you need to just go with the flow at this time. So whether this is a new gym routine that you're doing or just the way you are conducting yourself with others, how you are mixing uh, you know, with others in the world, how you're making your way in the world, um, just how you're presenting yourself to others at this time. So. What it's indicating is that you need to go with the flow at this time. Just follow your feelings um, and your deep knowing. Um, just avoid others' drama or getting involved in other people's drama. Um, because with this influence um, at this time, you will um, need to probably withdraw um, for a while or for periods every so often to gather your resources um, and uh, your energy in preparation for movement forward, uh, which will be coming. So it's a kind of time of sort of just sitting back. Um, you're, still, you're still involved with things, but you just need to uh, protect your energy a little bit um, and store up uh, because you're going to need it uh, later on. So don't let others take advantage of you um, during those quiet times or when if they're perceiving you as sort of sort of not being overly um, dynamic at this time. Um, just don't allow them to take advantage of you. Um, you may also have to work alone uh, for now, um, depending on what kind of work it is you do, but you may just need to spend time alone. Um, you could also just be having really low energy, just not feeling like you uh, want to get involved in too much. You may just also be feeling a little bit adrift, like you haven't really got any um, set plans at this time. Um, but it's it's fine. It's fine at this time to just uh, follow the path of least resistance uh, until the energies shift. So this could just be a period that you need to go through peri periodically in between bouts of getting busy or doing other things. Just pull back, spend a bit of time alone just to gather your energy. Um, this is also quite a good time for um, artistic endeavors. So whether you like to write uh, or you're involved in music or there's art, um, uh, water is also indicated. So it may, may be a good time to visit water places, bodies of water, um, recreational activities which enhance your artistic side or your creative side are indicated. Now, that is a theme that comes up a number of times in your um, in your chart. So um, it's something to definitely worth pursuing. Um, it, you you know, you may not necessarily be artistic yourself, but you can still be creative with what you're doing or how you are, uh, what you say, how you dress, your home and so on. Um, but it could also be that um, you could be um, enjoying artistic activities. So um, this could be visiting the arts, so galleries, ballet, concerts, things like that. And you're going to get a lot out of that. Then in the second house, we have Cancer, I feel. So your second house is your house of money, your income that's coming in. Um, it's also the house of possessions, what you own. Um, and it's also um, your house of self-worth and your um, values, your actual value uh, value systems, what you really put above, you know, what's important to you. So uh, with Cancer, I feel coming in there, um, again, this is another feeling card. Um, it comes up a, a number of times. Um, it's about what do you feel. So in any one of those areas, um, you need to trust your inner wisdom. 
and sensitivity. Use your intuition at this time. Um, there's also if you if you are um, you know if you are a feminine, then you it's about harnessing your feminine wisdom or your woman's wisdom. Or um, if you are a masculine, it's about harnessing that um, the the, um, the the more receptive side uh, of the uh, feminine nature um, and bringing that into your daily life. Um, there's also with this card coming in, there's going to be cycles of things. So things are going to be going in cycles. So you may have flow one month and then not the next or one week things are flowing and they're up and then the next minute they're a little bit down. So you just got to be able to build a bit of resilience and learn to ride those waves. Um, but it's a very imaginative um, and creative aspect to be having. Um, and this could also be coming into how you earn your income or ways of earning income. And this could be writing, um, art, music. Um, all of those uh, emphasis are coming in again, and they were already mentioned in your first house. So if you have any of those sorts of investments or, or sort of you're interested in that or you actually are busy doing that, producing art or writing or involved with music and the film industry, then this comes in for you. Um, again, withdrawing periodically to to center yourself um this comes in with this card it's about spending a bit of time alone just to reorientate yourself um and 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 get your energies together there is a feminine emph emphasis with this card so whether that affects you in some way um or it's about harnessing that inner feminine side um this card also brings in nostalgia and memories and the past so something may come back to you or you may be working on something which has roots in the past um, and it may be bringing in income in for you or it could just be to do with uh, your self-worth and your values, you know, harnessing the inner feminine or just focusing on that feminine side, being more receptive and so on and just really just harnessing uh, your intuition in whatever, whatever way it affects you. Then in the uh, third house, we have the earth element stability. Your third house is everything to do with your communication, how you communicate. So that can be verbally uh, written and it's also your body language. And this can be any in any way, shape or form. It could even be with social media. So um, it, this house also covers documents and contracts of all kinds. So with the earth element stability coming in, it, it means that it's bringing in stability for you or you may just be feeling quite stable at this time or you may need to bring the stability in so with this uh, what it, it's asking you to do is to make sure that you stay grounded um, you need to be uh, your roots need to be really firm and really strong in the soil so that you can stand firm um, this is also about, since this is to do with communication, this is also to do with the words that you use. The words are going to be, your words are going to be very important at this time because it's about planting. Um, so it's, it's words that are nurturing. Um, you're going to be planting certain things and it's, it's with the intention of whatever it is that you're doing will grow. So. Think of it from that point of view, um, because whatever you're saying to yourself and to others is going to be important. Um, and make sure that what you are uh, saying to others or what the words that you are using are grounded, are are um, uh, are nurturing and are going to bring you good results later on. Um, it's about being practical um, and uh, using your wisdom. It's also about being methodical. Uh, and sticking to what works. So, as I said, this affects all forms of communication. It also covers documents and contracts. So, um, you need to take your time with whatever it is that you're doing um, and, um, and, and really ground yourself. You need patience with this card as well because things are not going to happen overnight. So, as I said, it's about planting, um, putting seeds down and, and then nurturing them into, to grow. And... Uh, it's also um, it's also a very good time to make good contacts. Um, the people that you're going to meet during this time um, could be very very helpful to you, uh, and so what you say with to them, how you you know your discussions, your conversations with them, and the exchange of documents and contracts with them, what however it's coming for you, but these are going to be powerful contacts that you can make, which will really be uh, solid contacts for you to have.
Um, so, you know, you need to nurture those as well. Um, the other side of this card could also be to avoid stubbornness, being overly stubborn um, and in inflexible in your attitude, you know. Um, it could also be letting go of fears which may be keeping you stuck. Um, materialistic fears, this could be it, or just fears in general of moving forward on something because of, um, you know, you, you're enjoying, it's like being in a comfort zone, you're stuck there, you know. Um, also, the third house covers trips. Uh, this is local trips, short trips. So going um, out into nature um, or to see animals, you know, if you um, have access to um, visiting an animals in the wild or in nature, just nature trips in general will be very nice and very helpful for you and help to ground you as well. When you're in nature, you do feel grounded. It does give you a tremendous amount, helps to clear your head and helps to give you, um, you know, that, that feeling of comfort and oneness with, with the world which is important at this time. Um, then in your fourth house, we have um, Black Moon Lilith Mystery. So your fourth house is to do with your physical home, your actual you know, the bricks and mortar or whatever it is that your your home is constructed from, uh, whether you're in a flat or a house or shared circumstances, but it's your home, the actual physical structure. It's also the people in your home, your home life, your lifestyle. Um, and it's also your roots, um, your you know, like your family tree, your foundation, what it is that you've come from, your ethnic identity and so on. So with this coming in here, um, what it's indicating for you is that something may feel a bit off in your home life, um, or it could be somebody in your home, um, uh, or it just could be circumstances just feel a bit off. Uh, you don't have all the facts, or um, so things are not clear, or, or you are waiting for something to happen. And um, it could also mean that you may have to stand your ground in some way. Um, because this um, this card covers the deeper, darker feminine, um, you may also just be aware that uh, not to, um, whatever is going on in your home or to do with your home, try not to harbor negative emotions around what's going on in the situation. Um, so it's like festering of emotions, deep-seated emotions, um, and over issues to do with the home, or, or you, even your ethnic identity or your family foundation. It's it's your early, your early what you came from. Um, so you may you may need to find a healthy outlet for that so that it doesn't um, doesn't overtake you. Um, and, and drag you down into, um, you know, sort of darker feelings of bitterness and um, envy or uh, like almost like vengeful or re rebellious attitudes and things like that. It's just, it's just um, emotions really that stem from some sort of fear uh, or something that's unknown. Um, it could also be that there may be control issues in the home um, between people in there. Uh, just something's off, something's not right. So you may just have to take action and, and deal with that. But it could also be just that you may need to stand your ground in some way as well. Um, uh, but just be aware that that could come up in your home life. Um, then in your fifth house, um, we have Moon Soul, uh, another one of the watery feeling cards. Um, so your fifth house is everything to do with your children, if you have children or children that you're associated with. Um, it's also the house of creativity. Uh, your creativity could be your children's creativity. Um, and it's also the house of love affairs and the house of all forms of recreation. So um, that could be any kind of activity. Uh, you know, it's, it's normally fun, um, fun activities. It could also be sports. Um, it can bring in gambling. There's all that comes into it as well. But um, with the moon card coming in there, um, this is about following your gut feelings. Um to do with any one of those um, aspects. Um, it's also that emotions may be high. Um, you may just be feeling emotional or very sensitive. Um, it's about being receptive as well because it's, this has a, got a feminine influence um, in it. So either you are feeling like that or it could be that your children are going through a phase of feeling like that. Um, and um, this, this card also brings a strong female or mother 
influence or female or mother issues into your uh, with your children um, or it could be the, um, in um, some sort of a love affair and there's a strong feminine or mother influence in there um, it just depends how it comes in but there's a strong female um, or feminine influence with this card um, pregnancy can also come in so if you are hoping to fall pregnant or you are trying for you know to fall pregnant this may assist you at this time um, but it's also about um, moodiness and feeling restless um, and um, yeah, going through cycles of the moon. So um, possibly there are female issues that uh, need attended to, um, possibly with your children or, as I said, could be in yourself. But um, it's going to it's going to come out in any one of those areas. Um, it could also be a secret affair that is coming up for you in some form. Um, the moon also brings in crowds and fame. So this could be something to do with, uh, again, your children or some creative endeavor you're working with. Or it could be a um, an activity like a sports activity that either you or your children are involved in. And there are lots of people involved and there's a bit of fame going on or just exposure on a, on a much bigger scale than what you have previously um, had to do with. Um, the, again, the arts... Um, imagination come come in with this card strongly so either you or your children could be involved um, possibly there's some kind of activity which you're involved in is now getting um, traction um, f food and culinary uh, comes into this as well it's also um, about dreams uh, your dream life may be important or your children's dream life or just your your own dreams or your children's dreams may be important at this time um, and um, just be aware that under the moon's influence, sometimes things just may not be 100% clear, um, you know, like the cold light of day is not shining on it right now. Um, so that could also be coming and that could be coming in on a love affair as well. Things may not be 100% clear. Um, yeah, so all of those, all of those feelings are going on. Um, this, the moon is also about your habits, your children's habits, or it could be a, the habits of a love affair. Um, and um, with the moon, also, um, it's about creating an environment of feeling safe um, and nurtured. Um, but not smothering. So bear that in mind with your children, and bear that if it's a, a love affair is appropriate for you at this time as well. Then in the sixth house, um, this is your house of work, your workplace, your work colleagues, um, and mastery of your craft, whatever it is you, that you want to specialize in or something that you're busy working on currently, some sort of project or some kind of uh, personal, you know, um, um, interest that you have, which is, 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 is craftsmanship. It's something that you're trying to um, to gain as much knowledge about. Um, this house also covers um, your health and your diet, and it's the house of pets as well. So um, with Aries, I am coming in there. Um, with any one of those areas, it's about, uh, but I feel particularly work-focused because that's coming in later as well. This is about um, pushing forward uh on something, um, but it's when you when you when we say push forward, this is not aggressive, rash action. The best way to deal with this energy is to be um, to take measured action, disciplined action. But it's got to be focused, and it's going to require um, your determination, which you should have with this card in that house. Um, it's also no nonsense, straightforward approach, um, no game playing. Um, it's an ambitious card. Um, you may also in your workplace have a bit of competition or you may have to defend yourself in some way or you defend what it is that you've done or are doing or the, the, the course of the work that you're taking. Um, it's your leadership of it uh, or your leadership skills coming in here. You may be required to, to bring your leadership skills in. Um, it's also about uh, finishing what you start. So Aries is about the starting of something. It's the, that action to go and do it. But you actually need to see it through to the end as well. You may have to work with others to help you finish this uh, this project. Um, but the, the action and the energy is going to be there for you to do that. Um, it's also um, avoid 
uh, anger or conflict of any kind, either with your colleagues or with people that you're having to work with. Um, as I said, it's about measured and discipline, act, uh, disciplinary action. So when I say disciplinary, it's, it's within yourself. You know, you, you, you don't want to go off at a tangent and be rushing to do things. This is about having a plan, sticking to it and putting the, the you know, the steps in place, but it is fairly, um, swift action. It's, it needs to be, there's not a lot of patience with this card. Um, when it comes to your health and your um, diet, uh, with that action and that working um, and, and possibly being very ambitious about w what you are doing, you may find that your diet falls by the wayside. Um, but with this card, um, it's indicated, uh, you know, headaches from rushing, rushing injuries from rushing as well, um, or, or rashes that come up through heat because it's a fiery card. So it's that that urge to get going quickly to move to you know and impatience and that may bring up uh, rashes on the skin as well so as i said measured action um, and avoid rushing and you will harness the very best benefits of this card then in the seventh house we have gemini i think um, so first off with this card particularly as it's appearing in your seventh house um, this is um, uh, associated with soulmates of all kinds, whether this is a business partnership or a love partnership or just a really good friendship, um, you know, but this is somebody very close. Um, the seventh house is everything to do with close personal relationships, one-on-one -on -one love relationships, one-on-one -on -one business partnerships or another one-on-one -on -one very close personal relationship. Um, so soulmates comes in there and that can be male or female um, or it could be, um, as I said, a love partner. So it could be a very important romantic partnership or it could be a partner in business. But there's a very deep connection coming in there. That is a possibility with this card. Um, uh, it could also, if you're in an existing relationship, then um, it's about bringing um, all the um, best parts of the Gemini um, influence in. Um, and um, the best thing to do with this card is to bring mindfulness in. So it's all about communication. It's also about the quick mental faculties, um, but it's also about listening. So you need to listen as well as you communicate. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh have a great month uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.